Hey everybody, so this is the first video of a series of videos that uh, are gonna hopefully help you should you decide to want to upgrade your MVSX and use a different board to power your games and things like that. And that's what this is about. So I will be using an MVSX and um, and obviously the you know the LCD panel, the joysticks and buttons and the, the box itself. But the board that's gonna be powering the the, the content is going to be different, so there's a lot of things that are going to be required in order to make that happen. Uh, but I want to kind of sketch out what the plan is, what the game plan is, and uh, just kind of let you know this is what we're going to be doing. For those of you that are interested in doing this, so uh, previous videos show the, the changing of the, the joysticks, uh, the buttons, um, even if you want to you know, modify your, your uh, marquee, you know, change that out. So you kind of, if you've done that stuff, you kind of already familiar and comfortable kind of digging into your MVSX and changing things out and modifying and messing with wires and all that good stuff. So there'll be a lot of that in this one too. But uh, a friend of mine actually suggested doing this and he did it first and uh, it looked easy enough. So, uh, and, and he's there to guide me and to help me through this process. So uh, it's, it's kind of neat. Uh, having someone that's already done it uh, to depend on. So that's kind of like what I'm doing here. So I'm I'm the guy that's going to do it. That If you decide you want to do it, then uh, I'm your source to kind of help you through this. But I'm going to go ahead and sketch out what I'm going to be using. Then I'll, be, I'll actually show you the devices. So uh, hopefully this part won't be too long, but it's important to kind of just see kind of what you're, what you're going to be uh, playing with, right? So first of all, we're going to use the, MV, uh, the uh, LCD panel from the MVSX. So this is the... MVSX LCD, all right? And uh, the device that I'm gonna be using is a, is a little, it's a very small device, but it's, it's called the H96, and I'll show it to you later. That's gonna be important to see too. And from the MVSX, I'm also gonna be using the joysticks. So we'll call that Joy1, and we'll do a little stick with some buttons couple of buttons, whatever, and uh, Joy 2. So Joy 1 and Joy 2, all right? So the joysticks from the MVSX are gonna be important. And in order to feed into this device, I will need to get a zero delay USB encoder, two of them, one for each joystick. So that's a, we'll call it zero delay zero delay. So that's going to get all wired into this and then it's going to go into via USB into the device. Okay. Uh, so that gets wired into the zero delay board. So your joystick panel is going to be all hooked up into that and then feed into this H96. Uh, in order to get the LCD taken care of, you're going to need an LCD encoder. So that's what we're going to use also. LCD encoder. So the H96 is actually going to HDMI out into the encoder. And the LCD will hook up to the LCD encoder through two wires. One is called the LVDS and the other is the inverter. All right. Another thing that I will be using is a amplifier. So we'll just call that the amp. And this is just gonna get you out to your speaker, left speaker, and, and right speaker from the MBSX. So LCD, speakers, and a control panel. So that's what we'll be using from, from the MBSX. Now, audio is actually going to be coming out of the encoder because the HDMI is getting fed into it. So audio will be getting fed into the amplifier. So this requires 12 volts. 
This amplifier requires 12 volts. The H96 requires five volts. So in order to get uh, the five volts here and not have a bunch of you know different power supplies and things like that, I'll also be using a voltage regulator. So what that does is it feeds in the 12 volts and then like, you know, shits out the excess or source stores the excess and then it only gives out five volts. So this is a volt regulator. 12 volts in and five volts out. So this goes out into the H96. So this is the 12 volts here. This is 12 volts here. This is gonna be 12 volts here. It's all gonna be going to the uh, MVSX power supply. There it is. So again, this is 12 volts. This is 12 volts, 12 volts. That's it. Easy enough. It seems like it's complicated, but it's really not. Again, we're going to be using the LCD panel, the control panel, and the speakers. So LCD encoder feeds all that, just as I mentioned. So let's go ahead and look at the stuff. All right. So First of all, let's start with the device itself. So this is it. It's the H96 uh, Max Ultra HD. Pretty small device. It's got all the, uh, all the inputs that you're gonna need here. So this is it right here. And again, this is pretty small, I don't know. This is the Sharpie that I was using. You know, just so if you wanna compare. But uh, this is the H96 right here. It's got the two USB. It's gonna be fed into that. And then it's got, uh, it's got an ethernet jack, HDMI, uh, your AV, uh, optical, there's your power, and then a micro SD card too. So we'll be using that because we're gonna be using the two uh, USB ports here. Um, but anyways, this is the device. So there's that. And then you have your two zero delay boards, which is right here. Oh, this is what they look like. So if this, this should look familiar if you've already modified your MVSX uh, control panel or any control panel, but um, specifically the MVSX is here. But everything's gonna be going into here. And there's instructions as far as like telling you what's what in the back, it's also labeled so you could know uh, everything here. So like up, down, left, right, turbo, all that stuff. You're not going to use all the buttons, but um, all that's going to be uh, important. There are instructions on that as well, which I, I can show you that. So this is kind of like a quick and quick guide um, on how to hook things up. So that's pretty cool. Gives you some information there. But anyway, so you're going to need two of those. And uh, each and, and when you get this, it, this is a two pack. So again, I'm gonna I'll share the links to that. But it does come with the uh, you know some wire harnesses, which I don't expect I'll be needing, but it's good to have just in case I screw something up. And uh, two USB uh, cables. So this plugs into the encoder, and then the USB gets fed into the H96. <clears throat> the next thing is the uh, let's go ahead and do the uh, else. LCD encoder. So this is the LCD encoder. So this is what's going to be feeding or getting the uh, HDMI signal in and then feeding out to the LCD panel. So that's going right there. And then we have the amplifier, which again, coming out from the, um, the encoder, you're going to have uh, the audio getting fed into the amp. And then the speakers, and that's why there's two, two wires, because the speakers all have the, the two. You'll have your left and your right, uh, or left and right, going out to your speakers of the MBSX. So audio in, and then audio out going into your speakers. And you can use the wires that are uh, already hooked up to your, your speakers. 
So we'll be using that as well. Then there's that regulator right here, this voltage regulator. So 12 volts in um, and five volts out. So that's what this is for, so that now you can power your H96. Power supply, that's gonna be your, uh, you know, your MVSX power supply. So in order to, to kind of like feed some of these um, devices, this is a, a 12 volt uh, female to male Y adapter. So I'll probably be using two of these. So yeah, because if you look, one of them, you know, gets plugged into the MVSX power supply, then it's going to feed out two, so it'll power these two up, but then you're still missing one. So one Y adapter to get this thing going, then the second Y adapter to give you the power for these two. So I will be using two of these. And if it doesn't make sense right now, you know, I'll, I'll definitely show you guys all that stuff. So we'll need that. Um, the other thing is this right here. It's just a headphone to RCA uh, out. And that's going to be on the encoder itself. And let's see if I can find it. Yeah, I don't know where it is, but it's in here somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's probably it's right in there somewhere. It's somewhere deep in there. Haven't opened it yet, but... Anyways, the, the headphone jack goes into this device, into the encoder, and then gets fed through the RCA plugs in there. All right, so that's gonna be important there. And then you'll need one of these things. This is just a wire, uh, a five volt pin, plug, whatever, that's gonna go into the encoder, or the, um, the regulator. So this is the regulator. You're gonna feed the wires in there, and this is gonna go out to power your H96. So right, uh, where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. So that's it. So this will be powering up. Again, hooking up to this inverter. So 12 volts are gonna be coming in, blah, 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 blah. spitting out the five volts that you need so that you get power to this bad boy. And that's it. So this is what we're gonna be doing. So this is just an introduction to all the parts and all the things that, that are necessary to get this mod going. Now, I've already been playing with the device. So if you haven't seen, like I have another video that says uh, messing with Batocera. Uh, that's actually this device right here. And you know, because it is the my Capcom Mini Blue, I, I kind of started messing with themes to, to just, um, to kind of focus the, the cabinet as a Capcom cabinet, but certainly it can do a heck of a lot more. Uh, the cool thing is, is that uh, on here, I'm actually I'm actually able to run like Marvel vs. Capcom 2, the Dreamcast uh, version, right? And the Dreamcast um, version of Street Fighter uh, 3, um, uh, Third Strike, because uh, the, the audio is, is actually better um, on that version. I guess they, they redid it or did some stuff to it, but it does sound really nice. Uh, and, it, and, it, and it powers it really well. Uh, there's tweaks and things that you can do to possibly even get more power out of it. But uh, for what I needed, um, this is a great start. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is the beginning of, of a project, and hopefully you guys can follow along. And those of you that are interested will uh, be able to just kind of, you know, uh, get some use out of this video. But uh uh, this took a little bit longer than I expected, but I'll, I imagine I'll be doing a lot more hyper edits for the for the videos to come. But I did need to explain and show you kind of all the different uh, items that I'm going to be using. Seems like a lot, but uh, when you break it down, it's really not so bad. Uh, again, you're just using, you know, your LCD panel, uh, your control panel from your MVSX and your speakers, right? That's it. Uh, this is going to be the new motherboard or the new brains of the operation. And that's this H96 right here. And uh, you just have three different devices and your power. So it's just a matter of getting it all hooked up and together and then doing its thing. Uh, the, the one thing I haven't really looked into yet, and, and I'll explain it, is like powering the marquee. So I did mention the marquee in here, but that's going to be part of it as well. Uh, imagine I'll be able to get it out of here somewhere. Uh, yeah, I'll probably be able to get it from, from this, uh, voltage regulator, but I'll explain that when I, when, when I get to that challenge, but, but yeah, anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. 
Uh, stay tuned if you're interested in this. Uh, there will be uh, more videos to come. Again, this is part one of the MVSX, uh, I guess, overhaul, full mod. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. But uh, again, thanks again, and uh, stay tuned.